Last time, the town of Generic managed to convince its local government to switch from a coal-burning power plant to cleaner and greener solar panels. However, Generic still has a couple of big fossil fuel producers that it needs to get rid of. This segment will focus on the heating heart of each and every household, the furnace. The most common source of fuel for furnaces is natural gas. Natural gas is the cleanest of all fossil fuels, producing much less carbon dioxide than both coal and petroleum. However, up to 90% of it is methane, a very strong greenhouse gas. Any methane that does not combust will be released into the air through the exhaust pipe. Modern furnaces are 98% efficient, breaking up the methane into carbon dioxide and water vapor, and emitting those instead. As carbon dioxide is a weaker greenhouse gas, this is a slightly better scenario, but it still doesn't solve the problem. Geothermal heat pumps, on the other hand, produce no emissions at all. They collect heat from underground and use electricity to blow the warm air through the building. Using Generic's new solar-generated electricity, heat pumps will be completely self-sustaining. Horizontal coil systems could be installed underneath yards or houses without basements. In new developments, they could also be installed underneath the roads, which would allow snow to be melted instead of shoveled in the winter. Within a maximum of 10 years, the costs of building the systems will be paid off with the savings from heating bills. Until the pipes or furnaces had to be replaced, which is an estimated 25 to 50 years down the road, geothermal heat would be virtually free. The town of Generic uses a number of government and industry rebates to install geothermal underneath each and every home. These rebates are available in a number of states and provinces, but aren't advertised very much. As a result of the new heat pumps, the air becomes even cleaner and health improves. The greatest contributor of greenhouse gases still plagues the town, however. Join us next time for Replacing Oil, a Nation's Driving Force. Thank you.